The Indo Aryan language spoken on the Pathohar Plateau in northern Punjab, in most of the Pakistani polity of Azad Kashmir, and in western areas of the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir is known by a variety of names, the most common of which are Pahari English, and Pothwari. Or Pathohari. It is transitional between Hinko and Standard Punjabi. Its speakers have a local linguistic, but not ethnic, identity that is separate from that of Punjabi and there has been a nascent, if not yet coherent, language movement. There have been efforts at cultivation as a literary language, although a local standard has not been established yet, it has been historically classified as a Punjabi dialect. Grierson in his early 20th century linguistic survey of India assigned it to a so-called northern cluster of Londa, but this classification, as well as the validity of the Londa grouping in this case, have been called into question. <laughs> Geographic distribution and dialects There are at least three major dialects, Pothwari, Mirpuri and Pahari. They are mutually intelligible, but the difference between the northernmost and the southernmost dialects from Muzaffarabad and Mirpur respectively is enough to cause difficulties in understanding. Pothwari, Pueri also spelt Potwari, Patohari and Pathohari. Pueri is spoken in the Pathohar Plateau of northern Punjab, an area that includes parts of the districts of Rawalpindi, Jhelum, Chakwal and Gurat. Pothwari extends southwards up to the Salt Range, with the city of Jhelum marking the border with Punjabi. To the north, Pothwari transitions into the Pahari-speaking area, with Barakau, near Islamabad, generally regarded as the point where Pothwari ends and Pahari begins. Pothwari has been represented as a dialect of Punjabi by the Punjabi language movement, and in census reports the Pothwari areas of Punjab have been shown as Punjabi majority, east of the Pothwari areas, across the Jhelum River into Mirpur district in Azad Kashmir the language is more similar to Pothwari than to the Pahari spoken in the rest of Azad Kashmir. Locally it is known by a variety of names, Pahari, Mirpur Pahari, Mirpuri, and Pothwari, while some of its speakers call it Punjabi. Mirpuris possess a strong sense of Kashmiri identity that overrides linguistic identification with closely related groups outside Azad Kashmir. The Mirpur region has been the source of the greater part of Pakistani immigration to the UK, a process that started when thousands were displaced by the construction of the Mongla Dam in the 1960s and emigrated to fill labour shortages in England. The British Mirpuri diaspora now numbers several hundred thousand, and Pahari has been argued to be the second most common mother tongue in the UK, yet the language is little known in the wider society there and its status has remained surrounded by confusion. Pahari pay is spoken to the north of Pothwari. The central cluster of Pahari dialects is found around Murray. This area is in the Galyat, the hill country of Murray Tessel in the northeast of Rawalpindi district just north of the capital Islamabad and the adjoining areas in southeastern Abbottabad district. One name occasionally found in the literature for this language is Dundi Kairali, Dundi Kairali a term first used by Grierson who based it on the names of the two major tribes of the area, the Kairal and the Dund. Its speakers call it Pahari in Mur Tessel, while in Abbottabad district it is known as either Hinko or Dundi. Nevertheless, Hinko, properly the language of the rest of Abbottabad district and the neighbouring areas of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, is generally regarded as a different language. It forms a dialect continuum with Pahari, and the transition between the two is in northern Azad Kashmir and in the Galyat region. For example on the road from Murray northwest towards the city of Abbottabad, Pahari gradually changes into Hinko between Ayubia and Nathiagali. A closely related dialect is spoken across the Jhelum River in Azad Kashmir, north of the Mirpuri areas. Names associated in the literature with this dialect are Pahari itself the term most commonly used by the speakers themselves, Chibali, named after the Chibal region or the Chib ethnic group, and Punchi, Punchi. The latter name has been variously applied to either the Chibali variety specific to the district of Poonch, or to the dialect of the whole northern half of Azad Kashmir. This dialect or dialects has been seen either as a separate dialect from the one in Murray, or as belonging to the same central group of Pahari dialects. 
The dialect of the district of Bog, for example, has more shared vocabulary with the core dialects from Murray 86 to 88% than with the varieties of either Muzaffarabad 84% or Mirpur 78%. In Muzaffarabad the dialect shows lexical similarity of 83 to 88% with the central group of Pahari dialects, which is high enough for the authors of the sociolinguistic survey to classify it as a central dialect itself, but low enough to warrant noting its borderline status. The speakers however tend to call their language Hinko and to identify more with the Hinko spoken to the West, despite the lower lexical similarity 73 to 79% with the core Hinko dialects of Abbottabad and Mansara. Further north into the Neelam Valley the dialect, now known locally as Parmi, becomes closer to Hinko. Pahari is also spoken further east across the line of control into the Pir Panjal Mountains in Indian Jammu and Kashmir. The population, estimated at 1 million, is found in the region between the Jhelum and Chenab rivers, most significantly in the districts of Poonch and Rajori, to a lesser extent in neighboring Baramulla and Kupwara, and also, as a result of the influx of refugees during the partition of 1947 scattered throughout the rest of Jammu and Kashmir. Pahari is among the regional languages listed in the sixth schedule of the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir. Topic. Comparison with Punjabi Use of C endings for future tense Use of na for genitive termination Lokan na, lokam na luka na versus Punjabi's lokan da, lokam da luka da of the people Vocabulary Very clear point of departure occurs in the use of akna achana akna to come and gachna gachana jigna to go as opposed to saraiki awan ivana on and wanjan vijana wenjan and punjabi aona ana ana and jana 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 equals equals notes <laughs>